Hey everybody, um, I wanted to do a little bit of a supplement here to um, my review I did uh, for F Komodo um, yesterday. I had a couple of people ask me if um, I could do a review on um, how usability mode is. Um, and the best way that I could think about doing that is finding, you know, about 20, I think I got 19. Uh, popular programs and install them so we can see what kind of pop-ups we get from Komodo. I found two that didn't have any digital signatures um, so you'll see what happens when a program isn't signed and um, I'll also show you how it looks when it checks online um, the cloud whitelist. So all I'm doing now is just uh, updating Komodo making sure it's up to date. But uh, here are the programs so I'm going to arrange these by size. First is uTorrent 2.2. I think it's a beta build. And you see we didn't get any um, pop-ups so far. And we'll just leave everything because I'm not going to use these. this computer. Of course, it's a virtual machine. So there you go. You can see it's actually running right now in memory right there so that install happened perfectly fine next uh, this is a new 7-zip and it doesn't have a digital signature so you'll actually get a question from Komodo telling you that it has no digital signature and if you're not sure what to do press the sandbox button um, I know that this is a safe file now um, this is kind of new. You can trust these files um, even though they don't have a digital signature before. If you wanted to trust the file or package it needed to have a digital signature, they, they fixed that up. And now you can trust it. If you're 100% sure, you can do that. You can hit OK. And it'll just work from now on. You don't have any more problems with it. Next is um, Google Talk. This is, I think, a beta. This does have a digital signature, so it should install without any problems. You can see that one installed. This is a uh, flash once again. Should have no problems with it. This is a uh, email. should be digitally signed, maybe not. I don't think this one has a digital signature, but it worked because it checked online. Let's check it out here, see if it checked it online. Hmm. Hasn't popped up yet. Let's move on here. Um, See cleaner. We know that one will work fine. You guys see me use that a lot. This is um, Notepad plus plus. This is used as a replacement for um, regular Notepad by some people. This is Defragler, a uh, very popular defragging program. Once you don't install Yahoo Toolbar, so be careful about that one so it doesn't get installed if you don't want it. This is YouTube Downloader, um, found it fairly popular. Um, I think um, this one wants to kiss, of course, install Yahoo Toolbar. It's, um, it's a little obscure, but it's still popular. Uh, some people use it. I went and tried to find a little bit more obscure programs that aren't used by millions and millions of people. This is a picture viewer called Fast Stone Image Viewer. So far, other than that one pop-up, everything's worked all by itself without any problems. This is uh, AOL, Instant Messenger, newest one. Why 
Once you install the AOL toolbar, change everything to AOL. I don't even know why I unselected it, because I'm not going to use these uh, programs, of course, because it's on a virtual machine. Okay, it's all done. It's installed. This is Advanced System Care. Basically, like an advanced um, sea cleaner. And there you go. It's initializing. And now it's running. creating a restore point. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, it's done creating its restore point. This is, uh, I'm trying to remember what this is. Ah, Glary Utilities, used by a good number of people. I want you to install S Toolbar, so watch out for that one. Picasa is next, which is a uh, picture editing software by Google. Once again, no problems. This is a uh, Firefox 4.0 beta 6. pop-ups here from uh, Picasso. Firefox is now installing. Once again, no problems. And that's done. This is um, Microsoft and Telepoint, I think. It's used the uh, software for Microsoft Mice, and there's also IntelliType, which is software for Microsoft keyboards. So this should install, of course, especially this, uh, without any problems. And there you go, it's installing. It takes a little bit, so I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so Microsoft IntelliPoint finished installing without any problems. Um, next is Java, the newest one, 6, I think version 21. And this actually takes a little bit to install too. Um, kind of a heavy program. Much better than it used to be though. And I will pause while this is installing. Okay, so it installed. Uh, let's try here. This is uh, Skype. And the last one is going to be uh, VLC Media Player 1.1.4. Uh, uh, what you're seeing here is from Java. It's a script that they use to check for updates because um, Komodo now checks scripts. You will get this pop-up. I got, I got it too when I uh, first installed Komodo. Uh, I know it's a safe script, so I'm going to allow that. And Skype is installing itself. There you go. It's uh, up and running. out of that and last but not least is VLC uh, for some odd reason they didn't digitally sign their 
new version. I don't know why. But once again, I trust it. And I'll submit it to Komodo for analysis. And I'll trust it and just hit OK. So out of, what, 19 applications, we got two that gave you pop-ups. And the pop-ups are fairly easy to understand. So uh, if these two would actually sign their uh, applications, they wouldn't get any pop-ups. But sometimes uh, they don't for some odd reason. Like I remember 1.12 was signed. And it would just install and work perfectly fine. No problems. What can you do though? I can't force them. And that's it. There's all the applications installed. Double click. Open up VLC. Everything. There's Picasso. Opens up and works just fine. Um, Firefox, of course, that one's going to work just fine, too. So, um, that's it, really. Oh, yeah, let me show you that it did check online on some of these files. Um, right there. You can see it did a scan online and found safe. So it does scan online files that it doesn't know and if they're safe in the whitelist it just lets them work because they, they've known to be they're known to be safe. So I hope this kind of gives you a quick little uh, overview on uh, user friendliness. I'm sure you can find applications that give you a couple more pop-ups here and there more obscure ones things like that uh, but I would say for at least 90%, maybe if not more, of the users, they'll rarely encounter a pop-up from Komodo now. And compare that to version 3.1.4, the last 3.1.4, and even version 4.1. It's improved tremendously, while at the same time giving you better security um, than those did. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, everybody take care.